Today we are situated in not too far from Bielastok in the eastern Poland uh, after the end of wonderful conference on falconry and biodiversity organized in suburbs of Bielastok under the name Suprashl. And uh, we are happy to be uh, together with uh, Mrs. Elizabeth Likes and uh, we are happy to use opportunity uh, to ask her uh, not for a happy event. Unfortunately, several years ago, very well-known German falconer Eckhard Schormeyer passed away and he is not anymore with us. But uh, he left very good memory and uh, impressions in the souls of many, many German falconers. And we would like to ask Elizabeth to tell her own personal, private impressions of this wonderful, great man. Please, words for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I got known Eckhart in uh, 1986, or, or yes, I think 86 or 85. Uh, I was a young member of the DFO and uh, he was uh, president of the DFO and um, you know, the German Falcon Orden is a, I think it is a big falconry association. And so as a small little new young member, I looked up to the president and uh, by this uh, field meeting in, um, uh, in Hambach, uh, I get known him person personally. Yes. And uh, of course I was impressed because uh, if, you, if you don't know someone and, and you see only the, the person as a, as a representant of, of the society or of, of your club. So you think it is a person you never can reach. But he was, uh, he was normal. He was normal as, as we are all. He was a falconer and a very passionate falconer. And uh, very, very quickly we came in contact uh, um, through our passion falconry. And, um, yeah, Eckhart, um, I had the possibility together with Eckhart and some other falconers uh, go hunting, spend some uh, hunting holidays in Spain um, for hunting red leg partridges. And uh, what I appreciate on uh, Eckhart was always that I Yes, we shared the same passion and I think we all we had a little bit the same temper because he was um, sometimes he can he could speak so uh, honored and, 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 and yeah a very respective uh, person but out in the field you saw his emotion and um, yeah, and, and sometimes he, he was, um, you looked into a other face when he was out by hunting. But always with full uh, passion in his heart and uh, I think he was a really good falconer. We were together in Spain and in Scotland, uh, grouse hawking, and he always uh, wants to uh, um, perform falconry very well. And also I think he, he always had a, a look for young falconers to help them. He was open-minded for, for everybody. And of course he, he leaded the Deutsche Falkenorden for many years very strong and in a good way. Also the international contacts he made, I think they were very um, important for the falconry, falconry community. And um, yeah, and everything what he did, also his family at home, he was, he had an open house. So if you were near in, in by his house and you called him and said, oh, Eckhart, uh, I, I'm near, I'm close to you. So maybe uh, I, I can come for, for a minute, so you could stay a week there. So he had an open house and uh, he had a very lovely family 
a wonderful wife and uh, three three boys um, one boy one boy of uh, Eckhart he also uh, were introduced in falconry later and he is also at the moment um, a board member in a, in a national state association from our DFO oh, and uh, I've got known Eckhart as a uh, very very impressive and important uh, leader and good falconer did he fly falcons or uh, some other birds of prey? Um, the time when I uh, met him, he flew peregrine falcons. And he also was involved and helped um, in the 18th when, um, when we had the release project in Germany with uh, the peregrine falcons. And so I think he flew goshawks before, but in sad times that we that I, I, I knew him, he only flew um, peregrines mm -hmm. from the high flights. Mm -hmm. And have you heard from him? Is he a falconer in the first generation? Or maybe his father or grandfather was a falconer? Or oh, I don't know. You don't know, yeah? No, I don't uh -huh. know. Okay. And uh, did you use any hunting dogs in yes. falconry? Yeah? Yes. Which, which he always... I think he had pointers and also setters because he he used to go to Scotland for gross hawking and um, yeah so pointers they are fast and uh, mm -hmm. and I think uh, one of the best dogs for for this kind of hawking style. Mm -hmm. Did he uh, fly birds in any other countries besides Scotland and Germany? So did he have any favorite places? Yes, uh, I think the lo last years he always went to Scotland. But I know also uh, that he had a very close connection to Poland because he, he was a close friend from Professor Pilowski. And when I get known him, he, he had a peregrine tear cell and the name was Pan. Um, Mister. Yes, <laughs> it means Mister in Polish. But most of the people in Germany, I think, he, he was, uh, there's a fairy tale with Pan, Peter Pan, Peter Pan. And uh, first, if I heard Pan, so I was asking him and he told me that is he 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 hunted his first partridges partridge with this bird in Poland with together with Professor Pilowski and so he called him Pan. Uh -huh. And uh, also we were in Spain together hunting um, and I'm sure he was also hunting in other countries because he had a lot of friends and uh, yeah, but exactly I can't tell it. Mm -hmm. I remember a, a short uh, article as an obituary in his memory published in IEF journal mm -hmm. where Jose Manuel Rodriguez Villa mentioned the story when uh, during rainy season, rainy day, during rainy weather, all falconers were seated in the room. Uh, Eckhart went to yeah. fly his bird <laughs> under the rain and everybody were very much impressed by his passion. Yes, and, mm. and this is what I said at the beginning. Um, he had a really, he had a great passion for falconry. And uh, so you can compare um, some falconers, uh, they also have a, a big heart and a passion for it, but sometimes when the weather or, or the circumstances are not exactly good, so some falconer decide to stay at home. It never. When we were um, on hunting holidays there and uh, so it doesn't matter it was raining or it was sunny or it was windy so we went out for hawking mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, did he um, but uh, well, uh, his work was not obstacle for him to fly his birds very often so his uh, job allowed him to do it uh, with a 
on a regular basis, yeah? Yes, I think he had, um, he... Um, I, I don't know exactly what he did, but he was, uh, he had a high position in a company. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think he always was much under pressure from his office. Mm -hmm. But anyway, he finds the time to do it. Mm -hmm. And this is what I also ever say. Uh, if you want to do it, you do it. You will find the time. So even, even you start to work very early in the morning and you have a break in the afternoon and then you work late in the night. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you really want to do it, you find a way. And and this and he he find a way as well. Mm -hmm. And how you how did you call him Eki or no. shortly? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, normally, <laughs> normally I call him Eckhart, but sometimes uh, I said Shori. <laughs> Shori. Ah, from surname. Yes. Yes. The brief version. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about his sense of humor? Everything was all right, yeah. Oh, he had he had uh, he had a special humor, and he could sometimes if you didn't know him very well. So at first, if he if he said something to you, so say, oh, uh, what does he mean? But um, you could also say some things to him strongly and um, not so nice he he really he had a a, a big a big and funny mm -hmm. humor sometimes all a little bit a black humor <laughs> yes mm -hmm. and did he know your like legendary Renz Waller or not or they uh, yes I, I'm sure he did so I'm, sure. Uh -huh. I'm sure I'm mm sure -hmm. mm -hmm. Did he tell us anything about their friendship, their uh, links or not? I no, no, no. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. And um, what are, uh, about his links with IAF as an international association? Yeah. Did he tell you some interesting stories about this organization? Because very soon we will celebrate 50th anniversary mm -hmm. of IAF. And yes. yes. And I think for this event, uh, this anniversary, we can also collect some official and unofficial yeah. pages of history. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No. At this uh, issue, I can uh, talk nothing about it. Mm -hmm. Because when I get known uh, uh, Eckhart, so, so I, I wasn't... Uh, at, at that time, I, 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 I didn't recognize the IRF even. Mm -hmm. And when we were hunting, so we hunt. So there were no political discussion about it. Um, and uh, yeah, it's very sad. But at that time, it wasn't the 18th, so... Mm -hmm. It was not an issue. Mm -hmm. And did he have um, did he have any historical artifacts connected to falconry history in his house? Yes, yes, yes. yes. He had he had a, a library, mm -hmm. and of course, I think most of the passionate falconers they are collecting pictures, they are collecting. Uh, artifacts everything mm -hmm. what, what you can get about it mm -hmm. and uh, I think uh, through his friendships international friendships so he had a lot of things in his uh, uh, office mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if I'm not wrong I have heard from him that he flew birds in Alaska or in uh, Canada or I'm wrong uh, in North America anyway maybe mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know exactly because I I left Germany in uh, 89 for seven years where I lived here in Poland and at that time I, I had contact uh, if, if he came and, and hunt with us sometimes but uh, through these seven years I, I was not really connected to the falconry community in the West more in the eastern part. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But uh, when you lived in Poland, uh, did you fly birds or not? 
Uh, of course. Of course. So <laughs> you did it on without interruption, irrespective of your <laughs> geographical location. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. I see. I see. And how his wife really uh, be, um, reacted to his love to other females? Yeah, uh, I think uh, his wife. He was really a great personality. She had a great personality. She was lovely. She was um, she <coughs> very. Um, how you say it? Um, um, she was. She played piano, piano, piano and she, yes. she taught children about to, piano. To play she she piano. did a, a lot of education, mm -hmm. and she was calm. So if you came into the house of Eckhart Schormeyer mm -hmm. and you got known uh, Eckhart, Eckhart. Sometimes he was very um, emotionally, mm -hmm. and sometimes he he spoke uh, very loud. Mm -hmm. So if he were uh, aroused about something, but she came and she she spoke to him, and so you could see as he came down, and uh, I think she 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 had a good a very good influence on on Eckhart. Mm -hmm. And she tolerated, and she was also an an artist. Mm -hmm. She made beautiful, wonderful pictures, and also sometimes pictures of hawks, mm -hmm. falcons. And uh, I think she was a great lady, and she had uh, the, the honor and the, the, the character to tolerate it. Mm -hmm. Because she she saw it is not she's not in concurrence with it, so it is his love his his passion, mm -hmm. and so she let him go. Mm -hmm. um, sorry for this question, but how his death was sudden? Did he know that can happen due to disease, certain disease, or that was heart attack and he passed no, no, away very was, unexpectedly? So he had. Um, I think he had a kind of cancer, mm -hmm. but uh, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. But mm -hmm. I think he had a kind of cancer, mm -hmm. and and he knew that he mm -hmm. has to mm -hmm. go, and I think he buried as he lived. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, um, very. Um, oh. So I can't say the word in English uh, because I I don't know is I don't know it um, as a honor as a honor man mm -hmm. who know I have to die mm -hmm. there is no way out from this but he made the best of it. I see I see mm -hmm. and therefore my next question if he knew in advance about the end so did he work on memoirs or? Some maybe intent plans to publish something because he was not very young yeah, yeah. when he passed away. Yeah. So, do you know anything about his heritage mm -hmm. left by him? So, mm -hmm. or no, I don't know if he worked on something or, or if there is something he has written down. Mm -hmm. But I think maybe his son, mm -hmm. who also is interested or involved in fal falconry. Maybe he could know it. Mm -hmm. Do you uh, do, do you have any plans with your friends, other German falconers, maybe to compile some collection of memoirs about him, in the memory of him? So did you think about that? Uh, we we yeah. from from Deutschen Falcon yes. yeah. Garden. Yeah. We we always we are printing a, a yearbook, yearbook. Yeah every year and of course he is uh, honored in our in our yearbook yes. um, after he passed away mm -hmm. but at the moment uh, I we, we don't have a plan on mm -hmm. special uh, um, books or, mm -hmm. or reports about very famous uh, falconer mm -hmm. but there are um, we have um, one um, one editor in mm -hmm. Germany. He also was uh, um, for a couple of time in the board of the DFO, and he 
he's very interesting in history of the DFO and he has printed some something mm -hmm. uh, from the DFO history mm -hmm. and uh, I know that he plans others as a um, reports from uh, from Falconers but uh, I think at the moment he really plans uh, reports from the from the old, very old Falconers at the beginning, mm -hmm. from the history of the DFO. But I know he also wants to to make some reports of um, of famous Falconers uh, in no in the modern mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, do you know any about existence of any videos with him? Mm, videos, mm -hmm. or maybe I, I'm sure they are. Or... I, I'm sure they are existing. Uh, so, but um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the same so with, with you, his memories. Yes. I don't know it. So you have not personally yeah, video? No, video, mm -hmm. I think video I don't have. I have only some pictures when we were out. Mm -hmm. in the field. Mm -hmm. So for only photos, yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you going to publish them yeah. somewhere in maybe in different mm -hmm. day for journal yeah, or for uh, own Falconer right? Do, yes, mm -hmm. when, when it's necessary. Mm -hmm. But I think there are existing more pictures, better pictures of, of Eckhart because he, he he lead so long the Falcon Orden and you know at every uh, um, Meeting, there were taken a lot of pictures, mm -hmm. and uh, so I'm sure that it existing a lot of pictures of Eckhart. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for your talk and for <laughs> interesting story. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry for it's my English barrier. Uh, sometimes uh, I don't. Uh, sometimes I want to say something, but uh, I can't find the word. Uh, no, everything is fine. <laughs> we are not guilty that inter English is international language. Okay. So all of us are suffering. Okay, thank you.